As most of you know, we are currently engaged in highly sensitive negotiations with the Soviets that could lead to an historic arms reduction treaty on intermediate range missiles, or as we say, INF. This matter was also discussed last week with the NATO foreign ministers in Iceland. I have received Secretary Schultz's report on his NATO meeting, and I'm pleased to tell you that we and our allies have reached full consensus on our negotiating position. Six years ago, the United States proposed a step called the Zero Option, the complete elimination of U.S. and Soviet land-based longer-range INF missiles. At the time, many labeled it ridiculous and suggested the Soviets would never accept it. Well, we remain determined, and this year the Soviets adopted a similar position. So tonight, I can tell you that with the support of our allies, the United States will also formally propose to the Soviet Union the global elimination of all U.S. and Soviet land-based shorter-range INF missiles, along with the deep reductions in, and we hope the ultimate elimination of, longer-range INF missiles. Welcome to the White House. This ceremony and the treaty we're signing today are both excellent examples of the rewards of patience. On the Soviet side, over 1,500 deployed warheads will be removed, and all ground-launched intermediate-range missiles, including the SS-20s, will be destroyed. On our side, our entire complement of Pershing II and ground-launched cruise missiles, with some 400 deployed warheads, will all be destroyed. Additional backup missiles on both sides will also be destroyed. But the importance of this treaty transcends numbers. We have listened to the wisdom of, in an old Russian maxim, and I'm sure you're familiar with it. My, Mr. General Secretary, though my pronunciation may give you difficulty, the maxim is, dovayai no provayai, trust but verify. <laughs> <laughs> you repeat that at every meeting. <laughs> I like it.
let me inquire to the students. Нет. Вырубили все. Ну уж. Eight are placed. Которые, 